My name is Corinne and I'm the team lead and this is John, he's the systems engineer. The Cornell Mars Rover team, known as CMR, is made up of 40 members from a variety of backgrounds. These members are divided into six sub-teams. The business team handles finances and outreach. The task team develops the robotic arm and drill. The drive team develops the suspension system. Science decides the test utilized for finding signs of life. The electrical team develops the circuitry and control hardware. The computer science team produces the control software. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm the TAS System Subteam Lead. This year, the TAS System Subteam redesigned the robotic arm to meet all of the needs of the URC competition. Compared to last year's design, the end effector became more complex in order to complete more dexterous movements, such as attaching a carabiner and unscrewing a regulator. The other joints of the arm became simpler in their designs, yet more robust, allowing the arm to pick up the heaviest objects at competition. For the science cache task, the drill on the rover now has an additional subsystem, allowing the team to collect multiple samples for testing. The drive system subteam decided to pursue an inline suspension system in order to allow for more clearance under the rover. Also, the wheels were made wider, encompassing more of the motors inside the wheel, helping clearance issues even further. Last, two hazard cameras are being aimed at the wheels, allowing us to see any rocks or obstacles directly in front of the rover. Hi, I'm Edward and I'm part of Cornell Mars Rover Science Subteam. On board the rover, we will employ three diagnostic soil tests. We will use a capacitance humidity probe to test for liquid water, a contactless infrared temperature sensor to take subsurface temperature, and a pH probe to measure soil acidity. These tests will give us general metrics to assess soil habitability. Hi, I'm Cleo and I'm a member on the Cornell Mars Rover Science Subteam. For our lab tests, we plan on implementing two main tests. First, we want to use hydrochloric acid to test for the presence of carbonate, as a positive result indicates the past presence of water or bacterial species. Secondly, we want to use an MPK test to test the soil for the presence of essential nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Hi, I'm Matt, the electrical team leader. The communication system on the rover is composed of two 2.4 GHz transceivers, with two omnidirectional antennas on the rover and a sector antenna on the base station. Our tests have revealed that this system is more than adequate to provide range in excess of one kilometer, even when direct line of sight is not established. Additionally, our comms have sufficient throughput to support several simultaneous digital camera feeds. The rover is equipped with numerous sensors, which gives us information on our soil samples, subsurface temperature, drive motor speed, arm and drill motor positioning, drive battery level, rover location, and rover orientation. Using motor position and speed data, we, were, we are able to perform inverse kinematic arm control and PID drive motor control. Due to the data-driven design of our software, we have the ability to dynamically change configurations such as controller mappings, even during competition tasks. In order to best prepare for the competition, we devote the spring semester to testing the rover. We split our team up from our original sub-team structure into four testing teams built around the competition tasks. Astronaut assistance, equipment servicing, terrain traversal, and science cache. We also have three mock competitions this year, one in March, April, and May. During these mock competitions, we run through all four tasks exactly like it was URC. With this, we'll be testing not only our rover's preparation for URC, but also our teams.